batteries. I have this window air conditioner on. I have that window air conditioner on. And then my parents are here at their house trailer. They have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, which are all running off the reliable, right there, that right there is running off of the reliable 8,000 watt inverter. So we'll see how that works. I've already overloaded it once. Haha, <laughs> the 8,000 watt. I know. What happened was I forgot to turn these off and then I shut everything down. They're locked, rotor, and same with the one in the trailer because it. it I was pulling through this tiny little uh, circuit breaker and the breaker popped and I just flicked it and I forgot to turn everything off and you could all the lights dimmed nothing blew up everything was good I just quit or the popper quickly bro uh, broke again and yeah everything was good so this one seems to have uh, some good safeties at least so I'm pretty happy about that so far anyways thanks for watching guys well we got 3,250 watts coming in here and we got almost 900 watts coming in there. I have 1,300 watts of panels on here and I got I believe 4,500 watts of panels on here. They're all facing just different directions. This is the evening sun and it's not evening yet and this one is a mix of everything. 8,000 watt doing really good. Man sine wave doing really good. I have now utilized all my breakers that I have they all have a, a solar panel or wind turbine. So these are solar panels. That's wind turbine and this is solar panel. I should mark it or something. <clears throat> Everything's working really good. My house runs off a 60 amp breaker now. More or less. Uh, inside the house everything's 100 amps. But in here is the weakest point and it's a 60 amp. When I get another one of these, I may have to upgrade that to 100 amp. We'll see. Everything's working really good. We got tons of power coming in and tons, well not tons, but quite a bit of power going out. We got about three kilowatts going out, four kilowatts coming in. We're almost fully charged. <coughs> all my wires, all my BMSs are good. I could probably put another, ooh, quite a bit more power on these BMSs, but when I put another 4,000 watts, I'll have more of those batteries hooked up with more BMSs to soak in more power. Because um, these can only take in, I believe, 20 or 30 amps each uh, to each battery bank. And right now I have 63 amps coming in. Oh yeah, I got plenty. So it's right there should be able to handle the 63 amps. Plus I got those three. So I have that one and that one. Maybe today I'll get some more of these batteries hooked up. I had uh, Frank Z here He's checking out my system I gave him some lithium batteries to play with uh, give him a taste on uh, the lithium side of things Anyways Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video How's it going guys? As you can see these uh, Panels here are almost in shade and these are the new panels I just got up. Uh, there's 1,320 watts approximately there. And those are my evening sun and so are those over there. Let's go see what we're producing. What I was finding is I was, my panels were going into shade way too quickly. So I added some evening sun panels. Fans and the reliable are on right now. Everything's working good. So on the 1300 watts of solar panels, we're getting 720. And on everything else together, we're getting 968. We hit full battery today. That's why uh, I've only produced 17.8 uh, here and 5.5 here. It's because the batteries didn't need any more uh, current pushed into them because they're full. That's just maintenance now. We could be making more power, but uh, we're in float on both, so everything's working good. Anyways, just an update. Thanks for watching. Well, cloudy days. And this is the power I'm getting now with all my solar panels. It's almost 6,000 watts worth. And I'm going to show you out here. 
what it's like. It's pretty cloudy. Oh, we see some. It's starting to break up. Maybe we'll get some sun. That'd be nice. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.